hey you guys so i'm back to do a get ready with me i know i haven't done one in like forever so let's get into this so to prime my face i'm just going to be using my mac prep and prime spray and then just to prime it even more i'm going to use the becca cosmetics backlight priming filter i really do like this a lot because it keeps my oily skin at bay and it also helps my foundation last a lot longer so i did let my eyebrows grow in a whole lot because i just got tired of tweezing them and basically drawing them like 90% on so I just let them grow in and I haven't tweezed them in a long time so all I do is conceal them so the eyebrow um, concealer or the eyebrow liner or eyebrow you know the eyebrow liquid stuff that I'm using eyebrow gel I did purchase this from Amazon and I love this stuff because it does last for 24 hours on your eyebrows however if you do have oily skin trust me it's not going to stay for 24 hours but it will last the entire day you can also use this on your eyeliner for or for eyeliner as well the color that I'm using is dark brown and it does come in a two pack of black and dark brown so I'll make sure to list it below <coughs> excuse me I'll make sure to list it below so the next thing that I'm going to use just to prime my eyes or prep them so that my oily skin does not leak through is the Becca set and refresh powder hydra mist in the color of golden bronze i did get this as gifted from oxley.com so i'll definitely link it below i love oxley you guys already know they do send you out some really nice gifts and in return all you need to do is just do an unbiased um honest review so i'm just going to conceal my eyebrows with the la girls pro concealer which is an old-fashioned one and this was in the color creamy beige and then i'm also going to be mixing that with the becca cosmetics skinless weightless blur foundation in the color bamboo i like this one a lot because the coverage is not as thick and heavy so i'm not concealing any of my freckles i'm just basically giving my face a little bit more natural appearance as well as it's not so hot for the summer weather so all i'm just doing is brushing it in because i rather just use foundation and concealer versus eyeshadow primer it's just basically all the same thing so you just want to make sure you blend that really well you guys know i am not no makeup artist i just do what's comfortable for me and more or less i do like the all natural look i don't really like a lot of makeup on my face the next thing i'm going to do just to make sure that that foundation stays in place is i'm going to use the sasha buttercup and i guess the color is called banana i do like this a lot i also did get this as a gifted product a while ago from octoly along with that i did get this morphe 35 millimeter or 35 m eyeshadow palette which i'm just going to be using this the basic colors because i really didn't want an eyeshadow look or eyeshadow color look i wanted it to kind of be like an all natural kind of i have makeup on but you know not a lot of makeup so i'm just going to use that to basically contour my eyes in a little bit and this is just the two colors i, I use this eye color palette every day and this is basically my everyday look especially if i'm not going to be going anywhere or going anywhere dramatic i just like an all natural you know look so that is what i'm doing here and that's you know just basically you just want to go back and forth and windshield wiper motions and then this is the darker color that i'm going to be using and the brushes that I'm actually using are all by Sedona Lace. I did showcase those in a recent haul video. And I told you guys prior that I actually do love these brushes. I have been working with them for many years and their brushes are great. They're more or less like um, the matte cosmetics brushes. They're the best dupe ever. I prefer these brushes over anything. And I just think they're amazing along with another company that I will also show you in this video who also has very affordable brushes so nothing really expensive as far as liquid eyeliner I'm just going to be using the elf liquid eyeliner in black I like this um, eyeliner because of the brush the brush is really precise so for me it's kind of difficult at times to do my eyeliner as you guys see right here so I just put a little bit of the Becca cosmetics weightless blur foundation underneath just to fix the issue because I do have hooded eyelids so sometimes it's a little bit difficult for me to do any type of eyeliner and now it's time to just cover my face up with some foundation and I'm still going to be using the same foundation which is the Becca cosmetics weightless blur foundation this is like a medium coverage it's not too thick like I was saying so it's not so cakey I'm not really going for a cakey look I never do I just don't like a lot of makeup on my face because if I do put too much foundation then my freckles are not really visible 
so I try not to cover them up as much. I also do like the Becca Cosmetics 24 hour full coverage foundation and I do use that too but mainly I use the full coverage because like I stated I have oily skin so sometimes my actual foundation will not last all day so I like the Becca Cosmetics full coverage as well. I'm just going to take that Sedona Lace buffing brush and just buff that foundation into my skin. And along with that, I'm also going to be using one of my favorite Beauty Blender sponges, which is by Real Techniques. You know, the orange one. I have like plenty of them. I went ahead and sprayed my matte prepped and prime on it just so that way my makeup just kind of like blends a little bit better. You don't have to do the sponge and the buffer brush, but I just prefer to so that way it just blends nicely into my skin. And as for underneath my eyes, I'm just going to use the LA Girls Pro Conceal in the color Creamy Beige, the same one that I did use underneath my eyebrows. I'm just going to place that on my nose along with my cupid's bow and on my face just for my cheekbones as well. And you do want to let that sit in for like a couple of minutes. And so while that's setting, I'm going to be using this new product called Hello Fab. It is their avocado concealer and it is in the color number six. This was gifted to me from Octoly. For in return for this review right here and I do like the color it's not too bold and dramatic for a um, conceal or you know to basically um, give my cheekbones a little bit of you know plumpness I do like this to contour my face with um, the hello fab concealer because it's weightless it does also nourish your skin and the color is perfect so I don't have too much of a contour and it doesn't stand out you know it's not like over contour so I do like the product I'll definitely link it below for you guys and you can check out Octoly they have some amazing products and like I stated this was also gifted to me as a you know just a gift so that way I can just do one of my tutorials so just to set my underneath eye highlight I'm just going to use the Sasha Buttercups setting powder and I'm just going to put on a little bit I don't let it bake for too long because you know my skin does get oily and then it starts looking dry. Now I'm also going to use the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder in the color Golden Bronze 04. I use this also for contouring my cheekbones along with my nose. And this I was gifted so long ago, like uh, months and months ago from Oxley. I'm telling you guys, they have so many nice products on their website. You'll definitely have to check them out. If you do reviews on YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram, there's always something there for you guys and they have amazing products. So make sure that you check them out I will link the information below and let's just get back to me contouring my nose um, with that same um, bronzer by Laura Mercier I like this palette or excuse me I like this bronzer a lot now on to the uh, mascara this is the Givenchy mascara and I think it's called rollerball and I like this a lot because it's easy access for the lower lashes as you can tell by the mascara wand it's like a ball so this works amazing this was another product that I did get from Oxy some months ago and I've been using it ever since it works well I mainly use it for my lower lashes only because the size of it I really don't need it for my top because I do wear individuals and strips at the same time and now to brush away that facial setting power I'm also going to be slaying my face with the slay all day priming and setting spray this is like the third bottle I've gotten I was introduced to this by Oxley and this stuff will make your makeup like a fleek okay now just to set that I'm just going to be using my Milani pressed powder in dark tan 07 you can pick this up at any drugstore and the brushes that I'm using right now are the Ju Juno and company brush these are about two dollars they have a really good lifespan on them I love the density of the brush and the quality is great plus they're really inexpensive and just to set off my highlight or begin my highlight I'm going to be using the Saint, Saint Laurent um, highlighting cream this was also a favor excuse me a favorite of mine which I did get from Oxley 2 so many months ago and I like it because it gives you a nice color payoff or any highlight plus you don't overdo it I mean you could definitely build it up but you know I just use it as a coat or a base so that way when it's time to put on a little bit more blinged out um, highlight then this will definitely help it hold and along with that it'll definitely make it you know like glow so you just want to rub that in sparingly onto the areas where you plan to highlight and I'm just using a real techniques brush that was also gifted to me from Octoly, I did have the entire set. 
and now on to some really dramatic highlight this is the becca cosmetics champagne toast highlight you guys know this is an all-time favorite of a lot of women on youtube um this has been out for a minute and so i do use it from time to time because i do actually think this one is one of my favorites so i'm just going to place that in the same areas along with that i'm also going to be using the becca cosmetics lilac yard highlight and this was also gifted to me from becca cosmetics excuse me from octley like many months ago and this one i don't use as much but the color is very pretty it's light lilac and the shimmer is on point so you guys it's time to do the hair and i'm using the got to be volume maniac holding spray dramatic holding spray on my wig if you guys are wondering where the wig is from the video will be up on tuesday and i will tell you it is an rpg show ombre unit this wig is absolutely bomb i've been wearing it for a week and listen let me tell you something this one is one of my favorites and she is definitely staying in my collection as you guys can see this wig is bomb as hell look at the colors and the highlights in this plus the lace is damn near transparent even though this is their light brown color lace it always just like melts in my skin so this one is one of my favorites okay so make sure you guys check the video out tomorrow so on to the outfit of the night the dress that i actually am wearing it was only ten dollars from forever 21 along with that the matching sandals were also available are also available for ever 21 for 17.99 now the bag that i'm rocking i'll definitely link the information below so this is the never full we have a time bag i absolutely love it it is dead on and absolutely absolute gorgeous bag i love the versatility of it plus the size of it is very very good for me because i like to carry a lot of stuff in my bag plus as you guys can see my little doggy right here if i decide to bring her along with me she can easily fit in the bag like you know a cute little designer um doggy bag so I do carry her in it sometimes um, but this bag is really nice it's fashionable the colors are very pretty and vibrant and like I said it's a very nice bag so this is how the package came to me plus it did come in its actual padded you know box with padding and it does come with a signature or you know not a signature but a shopping bag and it also comes with a dust cover bag along with that and this is how it looks this is the just me taking off the actual <laughs> wrapping so they do make sure that the bag is well wrapped and as you guys can see the inside of the bag is absolutely gorgeous it has all of the um fabric along with that there is the matching matching pouch which you can either carry along as just a wristlet or you can just bring it as a wallet and keep it in the bag so this is it this is the end of the video we were going out to eat and you know what we was having a little fun you guys you know y'all don't really see me acting too silly on camera but you know what we had a great day i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll definitely link the bag the dress the shoes the hair and all the makeup products below for you guys and on that note see you guys soon stay deep and be delicious i love you all and make sure you rate comment subscribe make sure you rate comment and subscribe and all the information for all the deets on this look of the day will be down below love you